My wife got drunk with the former owner. Between them, they cooked up a plan for us to buy the pub. <laughs> Some people would call it fate. I would call it blackmail. Nestled between the towns of Lithgow and Bathurst, 150 kilometres west of Sydney, sits a quaint little village, known for its picturesque countryside and rich history. And of course, the heartbeat of the place since 1873 is the beautiful Taranar Hotel. The pub has seen it all, from daring bushrangers to a sheep-eating tiger, and that just might be one of the great tall tales, but the real legend here is the hotel itself. A much loved establishment that's been pouring cold ales and dishing out warm welcomes for well over a century. So this is probably the first time you've sat out here and had a beer? <laughs> so pull up a chair, grab a pint, and get ready for a rollicking good time as we dive into the colorful past and lively present of the one and only Taranar Hotel. He did come up here to retire, decided I needed a, a bit more stimulation. <laughs> I thought, how hard can it be? This was originally the front of the pub, faced yep. the railway station. Quite special having uh, a cleansing ale, I guess, as the sun sets out here in the beer garden. We've had them sitting out here wrapped up in jackets and blankets just to sit out there and have the view. How good. It's awesome. All their, you know, the tags from all the local property. Sheep farms and the cattle farms and they're all still all around here. This is, yeah. you know, the library. It oh, is, it is. It's really good having all that stuff. There's a few yeah. saddles around and the milk tin. We haven't done anything with that. We love all that. Yeah, cool. Pipes and things. Easy, uncomplicated system. Yeah, it's not, not too, bad. Not too complicated. No. I didn't even know all that stuff was up there. Look at that. Interesting. It's amazing what you can find in old, um, I know. In old country pubs. Local legends. <laughs> that is unreal. And the Taranar Tiger must be uh, must be featuring on there somewhere. Right in the middle. Fantastic. It's unreal. It's just like, you know, a whole family that's the central point is this pub. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I know. Tell us about this fine gentleman. Um, so this is Bruce. Yeah. We affectionately refer to Bruce as the chairman of the board. We love him. He's part of the family. He's totally part of Taranar, really. Someone's got to keep pubs like this standing. Oh, yeah. And you've obviously been given that task. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us about your story. You obviously were born, you grew up here, and uh, and a shearer for a long time. Yeah, I grew up on a farm on the other side of the Crown there until I was 27 and got married, then moved to Raglan for a little bit. And then she said the light and kicked me out. So I come straight back. That'll happen. Yeah, it does. Yeah, no, some things happen for good. That's, that's why I'm not going to try it twice. <laughs> now, you've, you've been here, obviously, through uh, plenty of publicans. Indeed, indeed. Well, these guys have been here four years. Blake before him was here seven years. And that fellow they bought it off, he's unfortunately passed away. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. So, and he was a great publican, I hear. Oh, he's magic great. Pretty Sorry, I'm nearly tearing up. No, nah, mate, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I wouldn't be anywhere else, let's put it that way. Yeah, so to put it mildly, this place has got a pretty important role in your life. The whole community, because I've been here so long, probably cares about me. I don't know why. In my opinion, I'm not such a great bloke, but... <laughs> <laughs> there must be some real shitheads out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you've become part of history here as well as, as with this pub and you'll be remembered here long after you go on pictures on the walls, you've got your boots on the wall. There's a door in there that they pulled out of the dunny that was the back door of the shitter. I mean, my lad say that. Yes. <laughs> but people started writing their name on there. It sort of went against my grain, but I put my name up, Brucey. And it'll remain there for a while, hopefully. Yeah, well, they've actually changed the door, and, but they've, they've put it on the wall outside the blue. It's still sitting there with all the names on it. Beautiful. It's good to see that you're doing your best to keep the place afloat as well. <laughs> well, I give me beers for free cause since I'm the chairman of the board. Well, they're still open. Jeez, they're doing well. I don't know how they survive. <laughs> the chairman doesn't pay for his bloody <laughs> beer. <laughs>
How good it trains. Duke, what do you think about the Taranar Hotel? Is it true that it was established in 1873 or is that just printed on the barrels? Good boy. Prepped up and ready, getting organised, portioning. The darling local girls, Ellie is 16? 17. 17, they're all growing up before my eyes. So it's the teenagers running the place today and they're amazing. And another bonus, another great reason to own a pub, to have like, you know, somewhere to work for these guys. Without this pub. Yeah. Because being out of town, I can't really be dry, getting my pants to drive me into work yeah. before I have my last. Yes, it makes a difference. This is photographs of the Tarana women's cricket team have made it into the Guinness Book of World Records because of their highest innings scored, 567 against Rockley. 1896. I'm hoping they had a good party here afterwards. They weren't allowed in the public bar, but there was a spot for them. Look at their clothing. Like, can you imagine running in that? That is fantastic. One day my plan is to send this off to the Australian women's cricket and see if we can get them up here. Yeah. Country pubs are a gold mine of captivating stories, and this one's certainly no exception. The walls here in Taranara are practically bursting with tales of the fascinating folk and events that shape this place. And the locals? Well, they're just itching to bend an ear. Uh, Taranara itself was a very different place then to what it is now, but the hotel was still here. There was a baker's shop and a butcher's shop here. Very big rail centre here. We'd come in here and I'd, a couple of ponies, I'd be on a pony, Dad'd be riding the horses. We'd get here and all I could think of before I got here, which I was only out this high, well, Dad used to give me a lemonade or something, but I had to stay outside over the other side of the road. <laughs> and he came in and, well, he had a few beers and then we rode home. And it was six miles out, which took a bit of doing. But the horses were wrong. The horses were pretty good, actually. But I went to school at Tarana, just up the road here. And uh, when I started here, we had one teacher, an Englishman, Mr Gill. He was looking after 34 kids in two class, two rooms, on his own. And I think I learnt more from him than I learnt at any other schools like me too. It would have been a sad day when they when they closed that school. Oh, down. it was a really sad day. Yes, we, it was a really sad day. Didn't see that teacher uh, point you as a JP? Yes, when I got into about fifth class, he'd say, "Come here, Webby. Come here. I'll make you a JP." And I'd sign. He did a great job. But one of the big things with this place, passenger trains used to come through here, and people used to get off here. And, come to the hotel and some stay here but and the, the drivers and everybody else they changed trains he's a driver and a fireman he used to do the most of it and I won't mention any names but the driver used to do that he used to fire the train and drive it because the fireman was sort of he used to love the place here <laughs> the driver didn't drink and the fireman used to drink <laughs> it's lucky they both weren't cut from the same cloth <laughs> Yeah, awesome. So here it is. This is the old school. This is the old public school that a lot of those locals were telling us about where they went to school in this tiny little building. You know, life would have been so very different then. 35 kids, one teacher in two classrooms in this tiny little building. And now, unfortunately, it's no longer a school, but it is a beautiful b and and you can come here and stay here if you'd like. And maybe even write your name on the chalkboard. Arguably the most famous of all that hailed from Taranar is the Bathurst Bulldog, a harness racing legend who took the 70s by storm with back-to-back -back wins in the Inter-Dominion. Hondo Grattan's achievements were the pride of the pub and people still reminisce about his famous victories and sometimes even put on a little reenactment for good measure. They bought him an old milking mare for New Zealand. Had one foal, it wasn't much good, then the next foal was Hondo Grattan. Dad and his brother Bob, they owned it. And after some pretty serious time trials, they decided to give a third ownership to Tony Turnbull, who was a trainer driver. I was probably about 14 or 15 then. Fantastic. What, yeah. what, what great memories. Oh, brilliant. Unbelievable. 
watching the th previous three weeks, the three weeks of heats, then the final on the fourth week, and him winning it. It's going to be awfully close. Oh, one goes back and all oh, well, that's what Did you have uh, a bit of a celebration in the family after, after that big win? Um, I think the elder people did. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't you allowed. Were of course, too young to put a bet yeah, on this Yeah, exactly. I wasn't allowed in the bars, but I probably snuck in and had a few. <laughs> now that history's become part of the pub as well, so people yeah. in the pub can know that Hondo Grattan was bred here yeah. just down the road. Gough Whitlam and his wife Margaret, they were going to present the winning trophy, and Tony Turnbull said to Hondo Grattan, he said, if you want to meet the Prime Minister and his wife tonight, you better do the right thing. And he did. Great yeah. times. And obviously this place well, in the I, 70s would have been jumping. Well, the next morning after he won the interview, I mean, we came straight from Sydney to here and the, the doors of well, the pub were still going. And they were open and everyone was still celebrating. Pale face in front, Hondo heads him. Pale face kicks back, they hit the line. Hondo oh. won it! Blair Webb comes from a lineage of legends from this valley. His ancestors William and Anne Webb were pioneers in the district, emigrating from England in the 1840s. Anne founded the community church and cemetery where she now rests alongside many of her relatives. The Webb family lineage lives on in Tarana and will for generations to come. So your grandfather was... Grandson, grandson of Anne, yeah. They came here in 1842 and uh, they had a pretty big area, decided they'd take the place on, which they did take the area on. Been held by Webbs ever since, so. Anne Webb, wow, what a woman. To take on what she's taken on and then to establish uh, a family that's still going. An incredible thing that she's done. No one is too sure how she made the money. She set up a, a shop on the banks where Mutton Falls is now, the, the original house. Um, and was selling groceries and... Then possibly other things, if she made her money, who knows if there was some merchandise involved yeah, or what was the situation? That's what everything's been going around for a long time, but that's how she managed to get the country together, I think, but anyway. And Anne was down at Mutton Falls. Now, um, one big story there goes that um, we got uh, attacked by bush rangers and actually ended up shooting one of them. I think she held her, uh, held her own with a best of them, but there's a lot of the clan now that's not as tough as she was. So there must be some pretty good web get-togethers. We had a family reunion and it was 600 people turned up. Unbelievable. They came in from the west, they turned up out of the woodwork, they came from everywhere and it was a fantastic time, really was. It's been a wonderful experience. A place like this is so important so people can get together, share views, find out the news, the gossip, whatever, or just relax, you know. It really is an honour to have a place like this. Love the locals, love the visitors. Hard to emphasise how much a strong local pub with fantastic publicans holds a community together. It's just quite incredible. So pretty fun day so far. We've got to chat to a few pretty interesting characters. Had a couple of beers, had an amazing burger. Heard a lot about the history of the Taranā Hotel. It's just unreal. You don't get this in the city. You just don't. It's just special. I love it. <laughs>